Hey, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. Hey there, the Sussex Squadrons members. My name is Lawrence Bitt. Today, let's delve into the interviewing Why would say world no? Why would we where digitally alter photos? politics are you talking about, are you, are intertwines you us to, with royalty. Uh, the, uh, what's and going take on a the closer UK? look as the crescent <laughs> and the scrutiny <laughs> surrounding <laughs> the white house stands with us? on Harry no, no, and Harry and Meghan's journey. Buckle up as we embark on this enlightening exploration. Let me give you a bit of the story of how it goes within the White House and what happened. So, the White House press secretary, the Corinne Jean Pierre, was going about her business today, just as usual, doing the daily press briefing, when she got an unexpected question from a member of the White House press corps. Interestingly, Enough. The journalist was an American, not a Brit. The journal asked if the, Bi if the Biden White House digitally altered photos before releasing them to the public. She was amused with the question. <laughs> this question is so funny. So this is getting a surprised amount of coverage in both the British and American media. And it was one of the leading stories in the mail yesterday too. And I quote what the mail said. The White House said it does not alter with photos of President Joe Biden or any officials in its first comments on the Kate Middleton Mother's Day. Photoshop fail. Karen Jean Pierre, the top spokesman of the administration, was asked if the White House ever digitally altered photos of officials before releasing them to the public. Are you comparing us to the what's going on in the UK? She asked before adding, what does the monarchy have to do anything with us? No, that is not something that we do here. Kenningston Palace release of the photo and subsequent apology from the Princess of Wales caused a stir in the UK, trended on the social media around the world and led to a slew of conspiracy theories. Jen Pierre did say the White House offered Kate a speedy recovery from the abnormal, abnormal surgery. We will offer speedy recovery and I'm just going to leave it there. I don't have anything else to share, Jean Pierre said. <laughs> What's funny is that last year, Birmingham Palace and the Tory press joined forces to scream cry and throw up about President Biden and his refusal to attend King Charles' coronation. The, pilot, uh, the palace was absolutely part of it. With, con uh, with Curtis openly calling Biden an ancient old greaser who was too weak to travel to the child. Meanwhile, Irish Joe got a a rock star reception when he visited Ireland just before the coronation. I guess my point is, as always, the FNK around and find out. Now that the British monarchy photoshops uh, the Shenningans uh, have made them a global laughing stock, they could have used some cover from the Biden White House. No cover was given. So, picture this. The White House finds itself under the spotlight with the whispers swirling about digitally altered photos. Seems like a small matter, right? But hold, but uh, yes, but hold on. Uh, there is more to it, especially considering uh, the British royal family recent tangle with Photoshop mischief. As Karen Jean Pierre, the White House voice to the press, when quizzed about the photo tampering, she didn't mince her, uh, her words. Straight up, she made it crystal clear. The White House doesn't play that game. 
No shady photo business here. Folks, this wasn't just about setting the record straight. It was about staying true to transparency. A core value the White House holds dear. Now, let's shift our gaze to the royal realm. The Broha. Over Kate Middleton's mother day. Full to hard tanks. Wagging worldwide. It wasn't just about a picture. It was about a questioning. The authenticity of what we see from the royals. And Jean Pierre's stand. Well, it made sense. It wasn't about meddling in royal affairs. It was about drawing a line and staying out of their drama. But to truly grasp the gravity of Jane Pierre, uh, a grand Pierre's response, we must zoom out and take in the bigger picture, the relationships between the Biden administration and the British royals hasn't exactly been smooth sailing. With Biden, Biden uh, with the President Biden skipping King Charles' event, tensions were already uh, simmering. So, when the photo fiasco hit, it only added more fuel to their fire. And then, there is Harry and Meghan, the dynamic duo shaking up the royal establishment. Their decision to step back from the royal duties, drama alert. They have been vocal about the grievance, even taking on former President Trump. Talk about searing the port. In the midst of this royal storm, Jean Pierre stands speak volume in declaration. We are staying neutral amidst the swearing drama between the US and the UK of the royal family. The White House isn't picking sides. It reminded that the complex dance of politics and royalty, it's best to steer clear of the free. We continue to witness the unfolding drama between politics and royalty. Let's not forget Jean Pierre's message in a world where truth can sometimes feel like a distant dream, honesty and transparency remain beacons of light. So let's keep seeking the truth, staying real and embracing the complexities of the royal mess together. Buckle up, success quadra, as we embark on a journey through the ever-shift landscape where politics and royalty and join us as we dissect the headlines and reveal the mysteries and seek to understand the forces at play in the captivating saga. This is the Sussex Squadron's Lawrence Bate talking as your host, your guide to navigating the intersection of politics and royalty. Let's dive in and let's always stand firm for Harry and Meghan, our love for, her, for them to this entire life to the enter, and to the leaders of tomorrow. <laughs>